Welcome to Biology Access. In today's class, we'll be taking a basic topic in biochemistry, carbohydrates. If you know you are new to this channel, please kindly press the subscribe button and like the video so that you get notification whenever I post a new video. Carbohydrates literally means hydrate of carbon and it is defined as polyhydroxyaldehyde or polyhydroxy ketones or compound that actually produces them on hydrolysis. Carbohydrate is actually the most abundant biomolecule in nature and it is primarily composed of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, though other elements may actually be present or may be found occasionally. Carbohydrate has the general formula CH2O can see it on the board where n is greater than or equal to 3. Now, please take note because of the fact that this is actually the formula for water attached to carbon, it is previously regarded as hydrate of carbon. Let's take a look at the function of carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is the most abundant dietary source of energy for living organism. It, is actu it actually produces heat on oxidation. Carbohydrate is actually the precursor to some of the organic molecules that we have in nature, such as amino acid, nucleic acid, and others. We have metabolic pathways in the body where carbohydrates can be converted to some other form of power molecules. Other function of carbohydrate is actually highlighted on the board, such as the forming a part of various organisms, such as part of cell membrane, part of exoskeleton in anthropod, parts of the cell wall in plant cell. Let's take a look at the classification of carbohydrate. Carbohydrate can be classified based on various criteria, and they include the functional group. Carbohydrate can be classified based on the functional group into aldehyde or ketones. And it can also be classified based on the number of cathode atoms. In that case, we have the triose, the tetrose, we have the pentose, we have the hexose, we have the heptose, octose, and all that. Then carbohydrate can also be classified based on the sugar unit. In that case, we have the monosaccharide made of one sugar unit. We have the disaccharide made of two sugar units. Let's start from the first one. Functional group. Based on the functional group, Carbohydrate is classified into the adults and the ketones. The adults contains the aldehyde functional group. You can see this. This is the aldehyde functional group and can be represented structurally in this way. Example of carbohydrates that are actually adults or that contain the aldehyde functional group include the glucose molecule, the glyceraldehyde molecule, the ribose or the erythrose and the galactose. Now, please take note, the structure of the glucose indicating the aldehyde functional group is being displayed on the board. Now, let's take a look at the ketones, which is the second group of carbohydrate based on the classification of their functional group. The ketones, the functional group is indicated on the board. This is actually the arrow in this place or here. It's actually the word, the acyl group. You can get used to that in chemistry. The formula is actually indicated here. And example of carbohydrate with the ketone functional group include the fructose, the xerulose, as well as the rubulose. Take note, the, uh, the, the structure of fructose displaying the functional group is being displayed on the board. Now, the second classification of carbohydrate based on the number of carbon atoms. And in this case, we can call them, we can classify them into the triose. Now, the triose are actually composed of three carbon atoms. You can see the glyceraldehyde structure is being displayed on the board and it comprises of three carbon atoms. Tetrose comprises of four carbon atoms. Erythrose, triose, as well as the erythrulose are being are actually basic example of the tetrose. The structure of the erythrose is being displayed on the board and you can see that it's comprised of what four carbon atoms. 
Petals is the nest which comprises of all five carbon atoms. Examples of the petals include the ribos, ribulos, as well as the xylos. You can have the arabinos also there. The structure of the ribos is being displayed on the board that you can see that it comprises of all five carbon atoms. The next is the hazels. Please take note. The ribos, as we know it, is one of the common uh, molecules in nature. In DNA, we have the diazeribose as well as the ribonucleic acid, right? We have the hazel sugar. The hazels comprise of six carbon atoms. We have the glucose as an example, the fructose, the galactose, as well as the mannose. The structure of glucose is being displayed on the board, and you can see that it comprises of six carbon atoms. Heptose actually have seven carbon atoms. Example is Cedoheptulose, Manoheptulose. Octose, eight carbon atom. Nanos, nine carbon atoms. So carbohydrate can also be classified based on the number of sugar units. Number of sugar units can also be classified based on the number of sugar units. And they are classified into monosaccharide, disaccharide oligosaccharide and polysaccharide. Now, monosaccharide actually have just one sugar unit. Example, we have the glucose, one sugar unit. We have the fructose, one sugar unit. Disaccharide actually have two sugar units. You know the word di or bi is actually associated with two. Two sugar units. Example is Maltose, which is composed of two glucose units. The diagram of maltose is actually displayed on the board. We have the sucrose, which is composed of glucose and fructose. Oligosaccharide, which is comprised, which comprises or is composed of between three to ten sugar units. In some some authors actually regard between three and fourteen sugar units. Example is the raffinose. We have the ketose. We for example, we have the nigerotrose, which is actually co which comprises of three glucose units. We have others. We have the verbascos, which comprises of what five sugar units. The next, we have the polysaccharide, more than ten sugar units, or in some cases, some authors will say more than fourteen sugar units. Example is the starch. We have the cellulose. We have the glycogen and all that. The macromolecule as we call them macro large molecule as we call them polysaccharide can actually be classified based classified into two polysaccharide can be classified into two homo polysaccharide as well as hetero polysaccharide now the word homo means same that means the polysaccharide is actually comprised of sugar units that are the same it means the Sugar units making up this polysaccharide are actually the same. Example is actually starch, which has which is made up entirely of glucose. We have the cellulose made up entirely of glucose. Others are actually displayed on the board. Heteropolysaccharide. Hetero means different, made up of mixture. All right. In this case, it's not actually a single type of unit or the same type of unit that is making up this polysaccharide. An example of this is actually glycoprotein. We have the glycolipid. The more example is actually displayed on the board. Polysaccharide can also be classified into branch polysaccharide as well as on branch polysaccharide. Please take note. Any area that you're confused or that is not clear, you can actually Send us a mail and we'll reply you. Thank you. Please subscribe to support this channel. Thank you very much.